everyone, Donnie here. Welcome back to my... <laughs> Guys, we finally did it. I didn't think this would be possible about five years later. But no, here we are today. June 22nd, 2022. And I've just surpassed 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much! Thank you! As promised in a poll that I did a while ago, um, sadly I do not have the footage for it anymore, but, um, you guys said you wanted a journey from 0 to 1,000 subscribers, so that is what we are going to do. This is the very beginning, 35 views, April 17th, 2021, the most cringe thing you could ever imagine. I don't even want to press the play button, but I will since it's a thousand subscribers. Quality be looking worse than a potato. It's okay. There's multiple things wrong with this. Number one, quality camera of a potato. Number two, um, it's a gotcha game. And yeah. I don't even need to say number three, actually. It's bad. This is so wrong. But here is literally, I got too lazy and decided I don't want to use these, like, little captions anymore. So that's when I started using my voice. I'm pretty sure this was my first voice video. I think so. Here, let me, let me play it real quick. Wait, hold on. Hello everyone, welcome to my third ever video. Third time's a charm, let's hope I can actually get some views on this one to pay off my crippling debt. That is still true. <laughs> <laughs> and here is where I really started to pick up the pace. This is when I got my first quote unquote viral video. As you can see, Roblox Innovation Inc. Spaceship Experience. Like the dislike ratio 83%, that's my grades on average. And then we keep going up here, we're getting lower and lower and lower, and then we have a, usually a spike. Alright, and then we keep going up and up and up, and this is when, um, people like Spectator became really popular, so I tried to do it. It didn't work, but it was nice to make shorter videos. This could technically be beginning my shorter videos here's another one as well and here is where i really started to pick up the pace with thumbnails because as you can see this thumbnail this all right this doesn't look too bad okay maybe it does look kind of bad but hey it was my first thumbnail you cannot blame it looks good enough all right it looks good. it looks good enough and then here is where I keep going and with all these beautiful thumbnails. And this is the first video that I got my comment on. The first ever comment I got hey everyone, on this video. And it's from this guy. This was the first commenter on my videos. A stone cold ghost. You, my good sir, have started this whole revolution of a change just by making this one comment there are no glitches with my microphone so thank you my good sir all right and then i continue these thumbnails and i keep going up up and up and up and if we go to the next page i continue this for a while because it was fun making these videos and i have a consistent schedule thumbnails are getting better it's getting better and better and better and then, um, keep going all the way. Oh my gosh, I have so many. All the way until here. And then this is where I got another 100 views and another 80% like dislike ratio. And then we keep going and going and going. And then here's where I start shorts. And then the shorts, I was like, meh. I'm too lazy to make a full video. Let's make a short. It did really well. So, 
I just kept doing it. I kept going and going and going. Until this video, which literally got 45,104 views, and it was a clickersome video. I'm like, oh my gosh. I could just make clickersome videos and get tons of views like that. Well, I was I was right for a while, but if we if we go to the if we keep going, like they start to drop. Like this one literally has half. It goes 22, 6, and then this one got another boost, so it went up to 12. But then this one was only like 500, which like sucks. So I was like, you know what? These take way too long to make. So screw this. This one was 144. Um, this one was 149, bad dislike ratio too. It wasn't good. But, what was good, is these shorts. See, 1,601, 100, 1 1.7, pretty consistent views. Look at this, 100% like the dislike ratio. This one, 94. And we keep going. And we kind of go back and forth. And this one they just like kicked off like this was the one that made it kick off and then i kind of started to get the hang of it so hang of the the youtube algorithm i could say so i got this and then this one this is another good one this is a good one um this is a good one we keep going all the way up until i'm pretty sure i continue this consistency yeah this is my last clickerson video and then we keep going all the way and it's only only shorts except for this one which got copyrighted by the way <coughs> this is not a clicker sim video this is a mining simulator 2 video then i keep going with shorts 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 and then finally i get to this video which was my latest video which was also a mining video Mining Simulator 2 video, and you should watch that. <laughs> Donut, how do I actually get all these views? Well, my child, I use a thing called TubeBuddy. This one little, little key thing literally helps so much. You see, I have a star license. It costs money to do that, unfortunately, but you can get the free version. It's like the pro trial for a while, and just see how you like it, because look at this. Like, look, we go here, what TubeBuddy does is it'll give you, like, I had so many shorts I could have tags. And what I do is they, it adds this thing, keyboard score. And when we click that, it can give us, like, a score of 1 to 100. And when that score is, like, 100, it's a really good tag. And it puts it out to a bunch of other people. So that's kind of how I spread all my videos around the YouTube algorithm so I could get to so I could make this video for you today. My like to dislike ratio was, it was pretty good for the most part. It wasn't bad. It's usually higher than 90. People think my content's cringe, that's understandable. Honestly, sometimes I don't even blame them. But like, stuff like this, like in this 90 range is good to me. Um, But the problem, it wasn't the likes, it was the comments that I was getting. And I was like, actually, screw this. I don't like these comments. If we go back a little. A few moments later. Did you copy this? This! This type of comment really just made it bad, alright? It was just bad. It was just not ideal. I just did not like these comments. And the reason why is because I never stole any of my videos that I make. Only things that I did steal and tried to give credit for was the audio. So, literally, I don't, like, if you guys, if you guys want to know where the audio is, it is in the description. You guys might be asking, how do I deal with hate? And the real, <laughs> the real answer is, I go on a YouTube studio, right? And I just, I'm like chilling in my YouTube studio. I'm getting all those fringe comments. And look, I go to customization. And I go to branding, basic info. Oh, wait, how do I do this? Oh, I go to settings. And I go to um, community. And I go to automated filters. And I 
blacklist a bunch of words. Obviously, I can't show it, because some of these words are kind of bad. And I'm a very kid-friendly YouTuber. But some of them I can show, like blacklisting the word cringe, cringiest, cringiest. <laughs> oh, man. Just uh, stuff like this. So, like, when you comment the word cringe, and you refresh the page, it just automatically be deleted. So, that's the reason why, like, you know, I don't get any cringe comments. Because I don't allow cringe. Because <laughs> my content isn't cringe, guys. Alright, but the real question you guys might be asking is, how did I get a thousand subscribers? And the real one, the real, the real thing say is just dedication because honestly if you post like constantly consistently like today i'm gonna post another video like not just this one and all you have to do is just keep posting and posting and posting and posting and posting and some of them will get a ton of views and if we go to analytics here you'll get like tons of subscribers too like this one literally got 42 subscribers just from this one video and if you just keep doing that over and over and over again then eventually you will get up to like a thousand subscribers. And once you have a thousand subscribers, you get more and more views on average. So like, I mean, this one didn't get any, but the majority will, and you'll just get more and more views and more and more and more and more until you get more and more subscribers. And like the cycle continues until you get like millions of subscribers or something like that. And yeah. Another thing you guys might've asked me is do I use TikTok? And if you guys would go to, if you guys saw my little um, my little post thing, check it out. Um, if you would click this link, it would bring you to my TikTok. And here I also post videos. And with these videos, what I'd do is I'd get a lot of things from here as well. A lot of things like like followers and likes and stuff. Like, look, I almost have a thousand likes, so thank you. But what I'd do is I'd post all these and also leave a link to my YouTube. So if you guys were on TikTok and you saw me on TikTok, then um, I could also, like, you could click my YouTube link and it would bring you to, like, this, my channel. It would look like... I think it would look like this. And this is how my YouTube, it would bring you to this. Also, you should follow me on Roblox. Alright, guys. And this, um, some of you even might be asking me, how did I make my channel art? And I will tell you. That is through a little program thingy called, where is it? Oh. Ah, YouTube Banner Maker and Canva. All right. So you would just make your little banner and you'd start designing it. And once you make your little characters, like you can have like this little guy, for example, and he would be pointing at the subscribe button and like you just make it big enough so it'll like fit the whole little screen thingy. And you also might be asking, how do I actually make a short? And I will show you how to do that too. So the way I make my shorts is I will go into a game, Brookhaven, to be exact. Alright, let me just join up a server here. A few moments later. We go to a vacant house and we get a house, right? This is the house I choose. And once we let it load, um, we go inside the house, and we lock the house, because we don't want anyone sneaking in our house. And, let's just say, I want to, like, do a pointing thing. So, I'd get on OBS, and I'd go to, like, um, like, this little face. I use this face a lot. And I would go, and I'd click point. And then, for the other guy, like, let's say I want to make him laugh, I'd go around here. And, um, I'd click on, like, like... I don't know, like a laughing face, like this. Then I'd go to this and click laugh, make him laugh with the other guy. And I'd just switch between characters back and forth, back and forth. 
and sometimes I'd go like over here and sit on the couch. Sometimes I'd go outside, and yeah, I just yeah, and that's basically how I make a short. And I combine all the clips in um my editing software DaVinci Resolve, and once I do that, like I just make it into a video on uh the like the YouTube Shorts. So it's, yeah. I can also show you guys how I make my thumbnails. So I go to a website called, called photop.com, and what I do is the basic thumbnail size for like a YouTube thumbnail is like 1080 by 720. I'm pretty sure. So let's start a new one. Pretty sure it. Oh, yeah, 1280. My bad. And by 720, and then I just usually go with white, and, like add my thumbnail stuff, like like you guys saw my mining simulator 2 one. I just like like add the background and stuff, and you know I just kind of play around with it. And Creecraft actually has a video on how to make you Roblox thumbnails for Photoshop, but Photop is a free version, and it's like very close in accuracy to Photoshop. So I just use this instead. I don't want to spend any money. And, um, yeah. So, that's basically how I make my thumbnails. Well, guys, it has been a journey. A long, long journey. But, we have done it. We have made it to 1,000 subscribers through dedication, guys. We have done it all the way through what? Let me check. Oh my gosh. Literally 150 uploads. But it was 100% worth it to get that beautiful 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. It has been a dream of mine to reach this number. And you guys made it possible for me. So thank you. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!